Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's second video. So day 10 will take us to the 16th of August. We'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS ECM ensembles. Maybe we'll try a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets us into the beginning of September. And uh, I shall get time back for you in a moment. Just say that first. The video is same as our 6 UK weather forecast. So check that, that one out. If you'd like to do that, like, share and subscribe on both of today's videos. Thank you so much for doing that. No EC extended today. As you'll probably hear I have got a rather ropey voice again. Um, today still down with lurking. So uh, I thought, you know, doing the EC extended forecast and pretend watering down might be a bit too much by throat. So um, that will be back next Tuesday. Hope that's okay with everybody. Thank you so much for your lovely messages of concern, support. You know, um, you're always amazing whenever anything's going on with me, which, let's face it, is quite regularly. Um, but uh, thank you so much, everybody. Please know that I, I have read all of your lovely messages, and um, and it's it's amazing. Thank you so much. Gareth Lovins community is always fantastic. So thank you so much, everyone. And I'll be better soon, I'm sure I will. Right, I'm going to start off. In the uh, tropic, so two interest areas. Let's have a look. We've got a yellow X just here, and then we've got Tropical Storm Debbie uh, down there. So the yellow X is disturbance one, with a 10% chance of site transformation in the next two days, a 30% chance in the next seven days. Doesn't look like we have to worry too much about that at the moment. And then we've got Tropical Storm uh, Debbie, formerly Category 1 Hurricane Debbie, of course, this time yesterday. Now giving maximum, su maximum sustained winds of 45 miles per hour with a minimum of central pressure of 999 millibars. Clicking on Debbie and uh, going just here, we can see that uh, Debbie's going to run up the eastern side of America. So by Saturday, we'll be just there. As a trouble depression, and then very rapidly we'll push out into the Atlantic. So by 2 a.m. Sunday, is around here, um, right in the very, very far northeast of states, as a post tropical storm by then. But obviously, David will be giving copious amounts of rain down in that southeastern corner of America, and uh, I think the main concern at the moment is with flooding down in that southeastern corner, but also very strong winds as well, of course. <coughs> so, sorry everyone. Right, century in temperature, coming back to home, century in temperature is now sitting at 18.7. That's 2.9 degrees above 61 to 1990 average in visual to yesterday to the 5th of uh, August. So, very warm uh, first five days. We're still unravelling the exceptionally warm first day of the month that we had, uh, of course. Bees with GFS, upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. Looking at London today, the red line is the 30 year for air temperature average for London. We're a little bit above average with the upper air temperature at the moment, but they will be coming down as a, when the system clears out into the North Sea in the next hour or two. Then we're going to slightly cooler interlude through the middle part of this week before we pick things back up again later on in the week. Now, to get into the weekend, still signs of a heat spike for GFS ensembles. We talked about this yesterday. We have got uh, several ensemble members there that are taking the upper air temperatures briefly, only for a few hours, but briefly up to 20 Celsius, 850 HPA or more. That does include the GFS 6Z operational run. This thick green line just here. And there are some ensemble members actually hotter with that heat spike um, than the GFS operational run. It is only a very brief heat spike, and then we find the upper air temperature coming down quite quickly as we go. In, so that's like end of the weekend, start of next week. By middle of next week, we find the upper air temperature coming down quite quickly and returning back to or possibly even going a little bit below the long-term 30-year average. 
precipitation wise going to be a lot of dry weather in the next few days but as we get this heat spike developing at the end of the weekend and start next week if it happens we pick up quite a lot of precipitation with that so not only turning very hot that's right also potentially turning very thundery as well we could have uh you know quite a significant thundery outbreak maybe most significant fungi outbreak of the summer perhaps so quite exciting from a convective uh, potential uh, perspective beyond that looks rather showery as we go into the second half of august although that is a long way out and is therefore extremely range and unreliable Temperature normally is from the 6th to the 14th of August. A bit above average for England and Wales, near normal for Scotland and Ireland. And precipitation anomalies from the 6th to 14th of August, drier than average for England and Wales, wetter than average for Scotland and Northern Ireland. Latest wind map from earthnoldschool.net shows we've got an area of low pressure to the west of uh, Scotland today. Weather system is clearing out to the east and introducing some cooler, fresher air from off the Atlantic. Now, we can't bring you the UK Met Euro run today, unfortunately, hasn't updated. So the first model we're going to start with is ICOM. And uh, this is how the ICOM model is looking for midnight on Friday, low pressure to north of Scotland, high pressure from the Azores into France, flat, flat the pancake, flat westerly flow, with showers in the north. Now, as we go through into the weekend, we find this ridge breaking from the Azores high into western parts of Europe that begins to shift the wind around into more of a southerly, very hot air in place over France, and then this area of low pressure starts to develop to the west of the UK and Ireland. So that combines with the ridge that's drifting over towards Germany and Poland. It combines with that to pull up this southerly south east road. Check out the upper air temperatures. Plus 20 Celsius isotherm is pushing northwards there across the southern half of England. We have actually got plus 25 Celsius isotherm to uh, central and northern parts of France, believe it or not. So this is very exceptionally hot air sitting over France. But the upshot is just fuel low pressure, really. So, um, yes, Monday next week could be very hot, but likely to have um, heavy rain, probably thunderstorms pushing uh, northwards. And then we end up going into this very unsettled pack with low pressure. In the Atlantic, quickly clearing away that hot air to the east. So that's how you finish up with ICOM. Midday next Tuesday, deep low pressure over the top of the UK and Ireland, looking very unsettled. And that will be bringing cooler air from off the Atlantic. So it really is just like a one day heat spike, and, and then it's gone, and we're into Atlantic driven, uh, really quite unsettled weather. The KMA looking like that. Uh, again, we'll find we've got low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south in a couple of days' time. Into the weekend, again, the KMA is starting to try and bring up some hotter air from the south, but generating thundery area of low pressure over France as it does so. I think we get less of a hit from that um, hot air with the KMA and quickly get swept away as this deepening area of low pressure heads in from the Atlantic through the uh, early to middle part of next week, turning properly wet and windy there through the middle part of next week, bit of a dark board low, rather autumnal even. And uh, that's how we end up with the KMA by the 18th of August, winter cool and showery northwesterly flow. What about the GFS Midnight Run? Again, on Friday, we've got high pressure south, low pressure to north. Flowers of pancake with those westerly uh, winds into the weekend. Yes, it's restarted really up around France, the Low Countries, and into Germany. That drifts away quickly towards Poland, starts to allow this low to develop around the Bay of Biscay. And that drags up more of a southerly or southeasterly flow. Upper air temperatures starting to become hot by midnight on Monday across southern areas. Very hot across France, of course, with plus 20 Celsius ice firm. Um, by midnight Tuesday, though, we've got the uh, fungi low pushing northwards across the country, taking away the heat and the humidity and introducing cooler air from off the Atlantic.
So I'm not going to get to day 10 with the GFS Midnight Bank gets the 16th of August. Low pressure rest of Scotland looking cool, wet and windy then. Beyond that, just rather unsettled really as we go into the extended range with the uh, GFS Midnight Run of eventually by the 22nd of August we begin to raise pressure a little bit across western parts of Europe. So the GFS 6 z looks in comparison. Again, this starts off on Friday with low pressure around Iceland, high pressure from the Azores into France, Spain and Portugal. Westerly winds maintain through into the uh, weekend and then we find that the high pressure of a ridge drifts over towards Poland, again thundery low developing to our south and west. Check out the upper air temperature, plus 20 south sides for over France starting to push its way northwards on Monday and uh, as we get through to the uh, last Monday morning, as we get through to Monday evening, at plus 20 south sides firm, still there in the southeast corner. That could get the temperature into the mid to upper 30 Celsius next Monday. It will be dependent on how much cloud is around, whether we generate those thunderstorms, where the thunderstorms are. Might even be longer spells of thundery rain as well. So, <coughs> so sorry, everyone, all of that detail is to be uh, worked out. Eventually, low pressure starts coming in from off the Atlantic, clears all of that in and humidity out of the way by Tuesday next week. By Wednesday, we find ourselves under a bit of a dartboard glow, so cool and showery there for days 8, 9 and 10. Beyond that, heights start to rise a little bit from the southwest, try to build some high pressure up again from the Azores high, but overall still looking unsettled as we come to the end of the GFS 6 z run. So no return to the heat spike up to the 22nd of August. If you're enjoying the video, please like, share and subscribe. Make sure you everyone for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Weathers. Get them to subscribe too. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Right, GM, again, with high pressure south, low pressure north scenario on Friday, bring the wind in from off the Atlantic in a westerly direction into the weekend. Heights rising over France, Germany and the low countries. Heat and humidity trying to push northwards along with this thundery looking trough. There's the upper air temperatures for big night on Monday. Hot for England and Wales. And very hot air just getting into the far southeast corner with plus 20 Celsius isotherm. That's midday Monday, plus 20 Celsius isotherm still flirting with the southeast corner. Probably less of a thundery outbreak, I think, with GM compared to the other model output. But keeps the hotter air going maybe for a little bit longer um, in the south and the southeast anyway. Eventually, we find ourselves sat under an area of low pressure by days 8, 9 and 10. So looking rather cool and showery there. And then the ECM looking like that. Again, low pressure north, high pressure south on Wednesday. On um, Friday, I should say, winds coming in from a westerly direction. High pressure building across France into the low countries and Germany through the weekend. Hot air trying to push northwards with that. That's midnight. On Monday, high pressure away to the east, thundery low around Biscay, and low pressure out to the Atlantic. Upper air temperature looking hot across England and Wales, very hot across northern parts of France, with that plus 20 Celsius ice firm once again. That's midnight Tuesday, plus 20 Celsius ice firm, just about making it into the far southeast corner there, so it implies Monday could be a very hot day. And then uh, low pressure from the Atlantic sweeps all of that away. We turn cooler and fresher with winds returning to a westerly direction for the remainder of next week. This is a precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Tometio.com. So we've got showering conditions in the north at the moment. And then as we go through the second half this week, most of the rain will be in the north. Quite a bit of dry weather in the south and the southeast. Into the weekend, turns so very wet for Northern Ireland, Scotland, potentially, for a while. And then, of course, we're dragging up that hot air from the south in the start of next week. Some sort of weather system coming across the country, again, doesn't look a classic fungi breakdown. And then we're back into those westerly bringing showers and long spells of rain in from the west once again. 
these are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10. The Icelandic Met's office gets us to the 15th of August. 20 members of the ECM Ensembles with deep low pressure over the country bring the wind in for the West. That looks very unsettled. And uh, westerly Atlantic trip of 13. Again, low pressure right over top of the UK and Ireland. That looks unsettled. Nine with low pressure to the north and west. High pressure over France. Winds coming in from a westerly direction. That's dry air. So that's the driest option for the south. Not completely dry even there. And then nine with deep low pressure again over top of the UK and Ireland. That looks unsettled and quite wet and showering. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 20th of August. 18 members of the east um, on soles with low pressure over and to the east of the country. Cool and showery with that. Number 18 with low pressure across the north and west of Europe. That's going to be unsettled too. We've got nine with low pressure to the north of Scotland, bringing a flat westerly flow. So unsettled and showery. And then we've got six with low pressure just over and to the east of the country. And so that's going to be a little bit on the showery side as well. Most of the options looking unsettled, I have to set both day 10 and day 14. Right, CFS B2 finally, and then we're done. I can rest my voice. But it's a 500 middle bar high times breaking down to weak peers. The first week peer will take us from a 6th to 12th of August. The next week has low pressure away to the northwest. High pressure is to the south and to the southeast. And that could allow some hot air to serve, surge northwards temporarily at the end of the weekend and into the beginning of next week. Week 2. Is the 13th through to the 19th of August. Again, low pressure just out to the west of the country. So that looks more unsettled and a bit cooler as well with winds returning to more of a westerly direction. Week three. 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 <laughs> Can't do it, can I? Week three will be the 20th to 26th of August. Low pressure right over top of the country. Looking unsettled as well. And then week four will be the 27th of August to the 2nd of September. High pressure blocking somewhere between Greenland and uh, Norway. And it doesn't really show, but the upshot of that could well be a trough of low pressure through uh, here. So that, that could actually be quite a cool and unsettled start to September, maybe. Who knows? Very long way off that. So <laughs> we shall see. Time will tell. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment? This is so about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends to subscribe. Show to everybody for doing that. So getting quite interesting. Looks like we could be in for the hottest spell of the summer so far at the end of the weekend and into next week. Monday next week could be a very hot day. Will depend, of course, on cloud and precipitation, whether there's thunderstorms or even long spells of rain around. But we'll be keeping you updated about that, obviously. Right, so tomorrow, we're going to have a 6am UK weather forecast, and be a 10 to 14 there as well. Keep checking back to the channel for more. And when the throat gets better, they will bring back the extra, you know, like the extended European outlook and whatnot. But for this one, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. I am off for another gargle. Um, but for this one, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. And bye for now.